Hello and welcome to Auto Shenanigans. How the devil are you? Have you had a good week? My name is John. Thank you very much for joining me for another exciting episode of Secrets of the Motorway. In today's probably very short episode, we're looking at a special motorway, the M898. It's got the highest number of all the motorways, but it's the shortest at barely a mile long. Now let me just clarify that last point, it's the shortest motorway with an M designation. There is only one junction on the M898 and you're probably already asking yourself, what's the point in having a one mile long motorway? Well, very little it seems, but the reason this motorway exists is down to one single factor, the Erskine Bridge. Since 1777, people and vehicles have been crossing the River Clyde here via the Erskine Ferry. With traffic increasing somewhat over the ferry's near 200 years of operation, it obviously got to a point where no amount of boat was going to help in moving the traffic around. Something needed to be done, and the decision they made was to replace the ferry with a road bridge. And build a bridge they did! Construction of the 1300 metre long Erksin Bridge began in 1967, and it would see a connection made between the A82 and the M8 motorway via the newly created A898 and the M898 motorway. But why mess about with A roads? Can't it all just be a motorway? Well, no, not really. The simple reason is that the bridge needs to be open to all traffic, including pedestrians. If it were a motorway, pedestrians and certain other vehicles wouldn't be able to cross the river, and that's less than ideal. OK, so why not make the whole thing an A-road then? Well, the issue there is at the M8 end, you don't really want to allow all traffic to join a motorway, so by having the M898, we can regulate the traffic from that point onwards, ensuring that no cyclists accidentally find their way onto the motorway. The end result is a connecting road that's one-third motorway and two-thirds A road. As I mentioned, there's Junction 1, and this allows traffic to avoid the motorway if necessary. Let's take a look at the M8 and the M898 interchange. Until the mid-1970s, the M8 terminated here and fed all of its traffic onto the M898 via a set of free-flowing slip roads. You might say that at that moment in time, the M898 was merely a spur and extension of the M8. When the M8 was extended to the north, more slip roads were added to the interchange, giving us what we see today. It's a fairly straightforward interchange, but it works. Interestingly, when the interchange was first opened, it featured dual running lanes on each of the slip roads with no hard shoulders, something that today would be considered dangerous, and indeed it's now been reduced down to single lane running on the slip roads. Another interesting point is that the entire length of the motorway was built without any hard shoulders. At the time of construction, the road building regulations were, shall we say, a little bit more flexible, and if they thought that a motorway wouldn't see all that much traffic, they could get away without building the hard shoulders. Now, it probably wouldn't work in the case of something like the M8, but on the one mile long M898, who gives a shit? They did, however, build just one emergency refuge area. It's about 10 yards long, and you'll find it on the westbound carriageway between junctions one and the interchange. So if you have an emergency, be sure to do it in this precise location, and you'll be absolutely fine. Junction one is the only junction on the M898 and is pretty much where the motorway ends. Like the interchange with the M8, the junction slip roads are single lane only, until that is you round the corner and find traffic coming towards you. To be fair, the oncoming traffic is in a separate lane, but there's nothing really separating you other than a small grass verge, which keeps things exciting. A new addition came to the junction in around 2010, which saw the installation of an abnormal load lane. Abnormal loads are defined by size and weight. For example, if your vehicle or load is over 44 tonnes, you'll need permission or a permit to transport it across the UK road network. At the Erksin Bridge, a short distance away, you'll need an escort to cross if you're driving one of the few vehicles that counts as an abnormal load, and the lane here gives you a place to wait whilst that gets arranged. Today, crossing the Erksin Bridge is toll-free, but it wasn't always like that. Junction 1 is called Toll Plaza Interchange for good reason. Since the motorway's opening in 1970, right up until 2006, there were toll booths in place to collect a fee before they'd allow you to cross the Erksin Bridge. The tolls collected in excess of £70 million, which is not bad when you consider that the original cost to build the bridge was under £11 million. Looking at historical satellite images, we can see where the toll booths used to be placed at the end of the M898. Fortunately, the motorway junction allowed you to exit before you reached the toll booths, meaning you weren't forced to pay and cross the bridge if you'd joined the motorway by mistake. Still in place today is the loop slip road that joins each side of the carriageways and back then would have linked each side of the toll booths. In my script, I put that this road is now fenced off and unused. Turns out that's a load of bollocks, because whilst I've been filming it, two workmen have been passed in their trucks. Interestingly, this access road has got its own traffic light system to control the traffic as it passes underneath the bridge at Junction 1. As I've established, the access road is still in use, but the traffic light system certainly isn't. But they're still in place today. And there we are then, guys. That's all we've got time for this week. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, there is, of course, a button specifically for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. That would be wicked sweet awesome. 
Enjoy the rest of your week, whatever it is you get up to. My name's John, you've been watching Auto Shenanigans, and I'll see you guys next time for another exciting episode of Secrets of the Motorway. Till then, take care, bye-bye.